Hello and welcome. Some people prefer to use external keyboards on laptops. You can't really do anything about the physical built-in keyboard, but there is an easy way to disable your laptop keyboard or keyboards in general. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to do this in Windows 11 or older versions of Windows. There are a few ways to do this. The easiest way to disable the laptop keyboard is by uninstalling the driver in the Windows Device Manager. The downside to this method is that Windows automatically reinstalls the driver after reboot. So keep this in mind. In the second method, I'll show you how to stop this. Click on the Windows search icon and type in Device Manager. In Device Manager, expand the keyboard section. Doing so reveals all of the installed keyboard drivers. If you have a laptop, the driver that you want to uninstall probably has a name with standard or HID in it. Right click on it and select uninstall device. You get a warning asking whether you are sure to uninstall the device. Click on uninstall to continue. This is all you need to do for the first method. You can still use your external keyboard. When you want to enable your laptop keyboard, reboot your PC and the keyboard driver is installed once more. Unfortunately, this method doesn't always work on every version of Windows. If this is the case, continue on to the next method. In the second method, we permanently disable the laptop keyboard. There is a command to reverse this, but still, you should only use this method if you are sure that you want to disable it. Click on the Windows search icon and type in CMD. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. We are going to disable the PS2 port service, which is responsible for the laptop keyboard. You can do this by entering the following command. You can copy the commands from the description. After entering, you should see the message success. On the next reboot, your laptop keyboard is disabled. Should you want to enable it once more, make sure that you have an external keyboard connected to the laptop. Again, you need to enter a command in CMD. On the next reboot, the laptop keyboard works as before. This concludes our tutorial on how to disable the laptop keyboard on Windows 11. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.